Je suis Je suis Je On y a la mouille à vite couche à vide de la paix droite. Il dit Maman, je suis brûlé. Il dit Maman, c'est pas de ma chambre de différent. Puis je suis venu à la maison pour manger, 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 This particular burn patient do is always almost the same for all uh, most of the people that we saw. You know they do not have uh, electricity. They often use uh, kerosene uh, to have light in their house. They use kerosene also to have fire to cook. To cook. And the issue with this patient, I know that uh, unfortunately it was gasoline. When you burn like this for uh, young children, it's very, very, very bad. And they are poor, they don't have money, and then to have a very severe burn on the face is very bad in Haiti. The problem with, with burn patients, especially young people, is uh, how to handle the nutrition. Not only to eat, but what they are eating. They're supposed to receive a lot of protein. Uh, you know, if they can't eat, for example, a very severe burn on the face, you're supposed to feed them uh, by a uh, TPN, total parenteral nutrition. You can't find that, and it's very expensive in Haiti to find uh, those kind of medicines. When you can't have that, you you do check and balance. You give and uh, you are not sure that what you are going is going to work for the patient. It's, uh, it's a very big uh, issue. The prognosis for a very severe bone patient is uh, very poor. I can say in Haiti, but in a structure where there is lack uh, of uh, area to take care of those kind of patients. When you are born in a poor family in Haiti and uh, you have a very severe disability, it's very difficult for you to start in life. So for this boy with a bird on his face, I think that uh, it would be better if we could find a structure well organized than we have uh, here or in Haiti uh, to give him a chance in his life. <laughs> 